Greetings everyone, it's IT2, and today I am going to wrap up my 2023 books that I read, and I'm going to show you just how 84 books, how much that is, what it looks like. So, without further ado, just take a look behind me here, and voila. One year's reading, da ling, da ling, da ling, da ling, da ling, and I have these ones also to represent some of the books that I read in ebook form this many. So I didn't actually have physical copies of everything. I guess I could stick them over here. Yeah. If you read like two books a week almost for like a whole year can't even get it on the frame you get about this many books so I completed so many series these ones over here are not actual books that I read these are representative of the Will White Cradle series which there was nine of those Harry Potter and the Cursed Child I actually did read and then one of them represents like uh, novellas because some of them are novellas. And then also, let's see, I read Martha Wells' um, Murderbot series, which was like four or five books. So that's represented somewhere like in right here, right? And then basically just anything that I got from the library. Like uh, I read Fire and Blood from the library, but then I got a copy of it. But then I also read Night of the Seven Kingdoms, so I put Game of Thrones there to represent that. And I read this whole series, Brian McClellan's Powder Mage. I read the first two books of Rift War. I read Morningstar, Jade City. It's like part of a series. Uh, Blake Crouch, Boy's Life. I read the whole Farseer, a whole The Band trilogy, or duology, sort of Kagan. The whole Loch Lamora trilogy. All four of the first, The Faithful and the Fallen. I finished up the uh, first law, read Last Argument of Kings. First book of Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn by Ted Williams. The whole King Killer duology. I read, I don't know, what was it, like four or five Stephen King books? Um, Dolores Claiborne, Misery, Tommy Knockers, Holly, and I feel like there's a Joe Hill. I read his The Fireman, Salem's Lot, that was another Stephen King. Uh, these ones are all representative uh, Darker Shade of Magic I read the book that wouldn't burn Empire of the Vampire I read the last three of The Expanse and then this one was supposed to represent Memories Legion which was the tenth book it was kind of like an add on and Big Short I read Michael Crichton uh, actually Daniel H. Wilson wrote that one I read Rage of Dragons this one was supposed to represent um, Hail Mary Project Hail Mary I got from the library I read The Pariah uh, Seance Society, Lightning Thief. I've read like five Charlene Harris books of the Vampire True Blood series. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just just a year's worth of reading there, 84 books. No big deal, no big whoop. Um, if I hadn't had so much fun at work with my new co-worker, I could have read way more. Maybe like 15 more books, which probably been like another stack. So if you fit about 20 books on a shelf, 84, that's about four shelves on a bookshelf. So, yeah, almost a whole bookshelf in a year you can read. If you buckle down and, like, take it really serious. Uh, somebody said if you read, like, 10 minutes a day or, like, 30 pages a day, something like that, you can read, like, a, maybe one of these whole stacks if you're just, like, barely even trying. That's still, like, a lot of literature in a year. Like, I mean, I used to read 10 or 12 a year, which would have been, like, yeah, about one stack a year. But now, six stacks. That's a, that's a lot of books. Anyway, now i got to reshelve all these. Yay.